Hello, my name is Dr. Apar Dadlani and today we will talk about liver amyloidosis. This is a rare disease which involves abnormal folding of a protein called transthyretin, which is important in transportation of hormones and vitamins. When this protein gets misfolded, it can deposit and harm various organs of the body. This is a genetic disease which is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion which means that if one parent is affected, depending on one or two mutated genetic variants that they might have, there's a 50 to 100% transmission risk to the children. This disease can cause abnormal protein deposition in the liver, which can cause enlargement of the liver, inflammation, scarring, and ultimately cause cirrhosis, which can lead to liver cancer as well as liver failure. Other organs that it may affect is your nervous system, which can cause heart rate and blood pressure issues. It can affect your gastrointestinal system, which can cause abnormal bowel habits and blood in stool. It can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. It can cause some pain, numbness, or tingling in your feet or some weakness in your legs when the spine is affected. It can affect your eyes. It can have you have vision changes. Uh, it may cause heart failure, kidney disease, and ultimately end-stage heart and kidney failure. A liver biopsy is the gold standard test for diagnosis in which a needle is used to take a piece of liver out, which is then studied under the microscope with a special stain called Congo red stain. Imaging tests such as CT scans or MRI is not very helpful in diagnosis, but it can help assess the involvement of other organs. There are medications that can help prevent the formation of this protein or stabilization of this abnormal protein. However, in select cases, liver transplantation has been shown to be helpful as well as curative. However, because this abnormality can affect a lot of other organs, liver transplantation may not be feasible for all patients. So when suspected, a diagnosis of amyloidosis should be made early to prevent disease progression. One should always assess the extent of involvement and refer for additional evaluation as necessary. For example, if patient gets heart failure, they should see a cardiologist. Early therapy and if possible, transplantation should be offered because they have good outcomes and many new therapies are under investigation for this rare disease. Thank you so much.